In this video, we will learn about rug plot, which is going to be simple, quick and interesting as well. Let's have a look at its definition first as per its official website. There are two segments. First segment says it's pl it plots marginal distribution by drawing ticks along the x and y axis. The second segment says this function is intended to complement other plots by showing the location of individual observation in an unobtrusive way. Now let's try to understand each of these two one by one with the help of picture. First one, plot it plots marginal distribution by drawing ticks along the x and y axis. Let's try to learn this. Here we have the data frame which is marked which we have been using and we will pick total column and we will try to draw a rug plot using this. So the rug plot looks like this. As the definition says it draws ticks along the x and y axis for marginal distribution. So these are the ticks which you can see along the x axis. Similar thing you can draw on y axis as well. If you are interested in learning more about marginal distributions we are going to provide you the wikipedia link in the description section do not forget to check that out next it says this function is intended to complement other plots by showing the location of individual observations in an unobtrusive way so i'll just show you an example but before that let me show you a step by step importance of it now here we have a kde plot looking at this you can say the density of transactions between 0 to 2 0 to 20 has more but you cannot determine the number of transactions looking at this you can determine the number of transactions but you cannot plot each of the transactions over here let's try to combine these two together does it some solve the problem this still doesn't seem like solving the problem and getting what we are actually looking for though it shows the no, it, looking at this we can see the number of transactions in this density but it doesn't shows the each of the data points so that's where rug plots is going to help us by plotting that you can see the each of the data points along the x-axis so this is what this definition is trying to say hello everyone welcome to the channel learn area and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon as per its official website rockplot accepts all these arguments out of this we will be explaining you which most frequently used as usual here we have already imported all the required libraries you can also do the same and then we have imported the um, supermart sales data and we have selected some selective features kept some selective features on which we will be using the rock plot now let's try to draw the first rock plot which is going to be a very basic thing and in that i just need to say sns.rug and in that data will be marked and on x-axis i will be plotting unit price unit price let me just copy this and i will just plot this over here here you can see the rocks have been plotted though this look very small over here so that you can fix just by using the figure function from matplotlib let's try to use that here we have that figure function and in that you just need to use fix size and here for my case i will use this measurement right now you have the rug plot plotted over here very clearly i'll copy this two lines so that i can use it further now here this was just on x-axis what if you want to relate it with another variable for example gross income i want to use this for on x-axis unit price and on y-axis i want to see each of the points for gross income let's try to plot that here we have these two plotted like you can see these two have been plotted over here 
here the gross income and here comes the unit price next problem statement comes in what if we want to categorize this using a categorical variable or you can also say we want to group them as we have been doing in all the previous videos all the previous previous plots rather i can say so that you can also do just by using the hue argument right let's use the let's try to group it by gender now here we have this rock plot grouped by gender wherever you see blue ticks that represents to female and orange one represents to male now again i will do a copy of this thing and the, here like we saw the definition in very beginning uh, we can uh, okay before i reach to that let me tell you we can also increase or decrease the height of each of these rocks so let me show you a quick example height let's say 0 0.05 i want to say and here you have the rocks height increase this was this one is also increased this one is also increased right so this is how you can play around the heights now in the definition very beginning we saw that we can combine this with K, with any other plot so here for example i am going to take kde plot first i'll try to plot it on kde and let's see how does it looks like here we have it plotted on kde now in this one i what i'll do i'll just use fill argument to make it look much better fill equals to true that's it now here you have your kde plot and rock plot combined all together similar thing we can do with scatter plot as well let's try to plot it with scatter plot i will copy both of these to in fact these three lines all of these three lines and here i'll just plot it and from here i'll remove this parameter instead of kde i'm going to say scatter plot and let's run this now here we go here we have the scatter plot created in the combination with rock plot now if you find it too hazy so in some of the cases you might find it too hazy because it captures most of the spaces so what you can do is you can show the rocks outside of the axis as well here it is inside in the plot area but if you want you can show that outside of the axis as well how can you do that just you need to do one simple thing which is which i just showed you few minutes back use these in form of minus 0 0.04 let's say and there will be one more thing which we require to use and that another argument is going to be clip on argument right like you can see though we uh, use the height in the form of negative but still that's not showing the rug so for that you just gonna say clip on equals to false and then let's see what happens oh here you go here you have the rocks outside of the axis now if you want you can just play around the rocks if, uh, because these are hiding the numbers represented on x and y axis so that's where i just reduce the height of it if you want you can reduce it further and let's see how does it look like yeah this looks much better so this is it with the rug plot and mostly it plays a critical role when we combine this with another plots the way we just did with scatter and with kde plot right so i just hope that you enjoyed this in case if you get any doubt or any feedback which you want to provide us do not hesitate to put that into the comment section we try to read as many comments as possible and reply all all of them until then happy learning enjoy it practice it more and all the best